welcome to Sisters and Company Talking About It live show. Hosted by me, Dr. Sharon Cradle, and Sherelle Higgins. We will be discussing intriguing, intricate, inspirational, informative, and intelligent topics with our individual twists and talents. We will present real stories, real solutions, and engage in real talk. So we invite you to be our company every Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock p.m. as we focus on transcendent thinking that will move you forward. You become the company you keep. What company do you keep? Oh yeah, we are Biological Sisters by way of the south side of Chicago. So get ready to keep company with us and our guests as we talk about it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sisters and Company Talking About It Live debut talk show. We are so very excited to be here and that you have decided to join us. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, we, we will. We are truly excited that you have joined us and that this moment is finally here. Sherelle, it is here, yes, here, here. Yes, let's um, go. We are your hosts. I am Dr. Sharon Cradle. And I am Sherelle Higgins. So we want to first do a shout out to Coach Kelly, who introduced me to ListenVisionLive.com. Coach Kelly's show is aired on Monday nights at 5 o'clock. And for those of you who have been following me for a while, you understand that Kelly, I've been on her show a few times. And so that's how we became intimately aware of ListenVisionLive.com. Yes, and we are, we are so excited. You all know that we are about to have a good time. We're going to talk about some things that we need to be talking about anyway. Anyway, yes. we're going to keep it real. You talking about keep it real? You haven't seen real yet. We are going to bring you real talk. We're going to get, uh, talk from our experiences. We're going to give you some opinions. We're going to give you some things to think about. Yes. And we're going to give you some things to do so that you can um, start to live your life the way that you are uh, we're uh, blessed to have. This is the life that the Lord gave you. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we want to make sure that we're doing everything in our power was to uplift and empower others to live their lives. And as our intro states, we are going to discuss a variety of informative, intricate, intriguing, and intelligent topics with our own individual twists and talents and perspectives. You will gain insight into how two siblings who grew up in the same house yes. can be similar but yet so different. The Mary. conversation will be authentic and fresh. Now, we use the term company in the show title because we will bring a little old school flair to the conversation. Remember back in the day when your parents told you that we were having company and you got excited? Well, having company meant that the family had to get prepared and ready for its guests. And part well, of that readiness was cleaning up. That is exactly <laughs> right. You remember, we had to clean the blackboard, I mean the baseboards. We had to get on our hands and knees with that mop and that rag and mop that floor. We had to, me, not Sherelle, we had to cook some macaroni and cheese and some, maybe some chicken and some collard greens <laughs> just to get ready for our company. So... We are asking you to be our company every Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. So get ready um, and to watch us. We encourage you to go on to listenvisionlive.com so that you can see the full show. And yes, we will come to you from Facebook Live every Sunday as well just to remind you that we are here. So get ready to keep company with us. And finally, you will be able to call into the show at 833-202-TALK. That is 833-202-TALK, which is 8255. But today, only when you're prop prompted because we're getting started here, and so we have to make sure that we understand what we're doing here today. <laughs> so here we go. Here's a little bit about what you can expect um, from our show today, we're going to have segments, 
And during the segments, we're going to just introduce you to who we are, um, our company that will be joining us in subsequent shows, and yes. just kind of talk about some things that we believe that matters to us as women, as men, as just as a people in this country. So first, I would like to say that I own the rights to the show theme music. It is entitled, Woman Thou Art Great, Women Sharpening Women Anthem. And it's important to say that because you know when you're on social media, when people are using music, they say, well, I don't own the rights, but I can honestly say I own the rights, and I'm excited about that. That and means I, we can play it as much as we want that to. That is exactly <laughs> right. So who am I? I am the oldest of this dynamic duo. Although Sherelle has always tried to boss me around all of her life. I can't help <laughs> And I'm it. the second oldest <laughs> of eight girls. I am a first generation college student. I am a business owner, a conference host, an author, motivational speaker, entrepreneur, professor, member of the best black Greek sorority in the whole wide world, Delta Sigma Theta sorority, Incorporated, and I am married to the most awesome husband on this side of heaven, Ira O. Cradle. And out of this group, I am the calm, cool, and collected sister who will bring it to you straight, but with a little chaser, authentic like and chaser. fresh. <laughs> And I am the middle child in this uh, group of sisters, but that's okay. Um, who am I? I'm God-fearing, let's say that first and foremost. And I am also a wife, but I've been a wife for 26 years, y'all, so you know I got a <laughs> lot of experience in that. I'm also a mother. I am a mother of a 20-year-old daughter and a 15-year-old son. They are very different. They are testing me in every way imaginable. <laughs> um, I am married to Jay. James Higgins Jr., the love of my life. I met him 34 years ago on the campus of Virginia State University in the, in the cafeteria, and he had on an Argyle sweater and some black <laughs> jeans looking finer than fine. Okay, I'm sorry, I digress. <laughs> I am also a CEO and founder of Ouch Baby Productions. He helped me name that. Let me say that name for y'all one more time. Ouch Baby Productions. Let me tell you what Ouch Baby means. It means that every time he saw me on the campus of Virginia State University, he used to say, Ouch Baby. <laughs> Yes. I'm also a motivator, a life coach, a HR leadership trainer. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That's who I am to other people. Let me tell you who I am for me. Yes. I am first God fearing. Let me mm -hmm. say that again. Yes. Second of all, I am a little girl who was born and raised on the south side of Chicago in a community called Inglewood. I know yes. you all at That's least right. heard of Inglewood, Inglewood before. Yes. Now, for those of you who have heard of Inglewood, you know we are talking about inner city. We are talking about urban living. Yes. That's right. And that's where Triple S was born, y'all. Mm -hmm. You want to know who Triple S is? She is Southside Sherelle. That's who <laughs> I am at my core. <laughs> Southside Sherelle. I try to keep her under wraps because she is not always the nice part of me. <laughs> and so I try to keep her under wraps. But that's who I am. That's where I exist. That's where I am from my gravity. I will never, ever forget where I came from. Mm -hmm. um, I am also a man magnet. Yes, <laughs> I am. It all started <laughs> when I was on 63rd and Polina in the Inglewood community. And that's when all of the boys from miles and miles around came around to see which one of their sisters or cousins yes. he, that they would like. Yes. And not more importantly, y'all, they was trying to figure out which one of us was going to like them. That is exactly <laughs> Only a few right. of them got lucky. <laughs> but what she forgot to mention to everyone, she is Sherelle in adulthood. But we always <laughs> called her Butter. And so Butter means something. Y'all notice I skipped right over that. I renamed that right. her to, to Triple S. <laughs> yes. So that's her new stage name, Triple S. I just learned that myself yes. today. It's, and so you, it's supposed Butter. To, it's, no, it's Triple S, y'all. Go with yes, that. Yes, yes. I'm also, I'm also, y'all, a lover. 
I'm a lover of real friends and family. And as many of you all know, I went to Virginia State University and I love my VSU family, yes. y'all. And I was the first one, so she followed me as the oldest sister. Yes, and when Sharon started our uh, family tradition of Virginia State University, not only I, but many others in our family, both uh, from our married families and our um, biological families also followed us to Virginia State and University. We were, and we will talk about that um, in one of the subsequent shows about your purpose and following through on what God has planned for you because you, you never know what your journey is going to do for someone else. That's right. Um, I have a t-shirt, y'all, that says, Virginia State changed my life. Yes. And when I tell you that ain't nothing but the God honest truth, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. I am also a huge fan of the NFL, so I yes, really appreciate is. you NFL <laughs> fans who are trying to multitask and watch the game yes. right now yes. and also uh, chime in with us. And you know, because I'm from Chicago, I love my Bears. I love everything about the orange and blue. Virginia State is orange and blue, and so is the Chicago Bears. And so I can't help it with the NFL, <laughs> but I do live in a household where the Washington Redskins reign. So I guess I need to do a little bit homework to make sure I can talk a little bit about some NFL football. There's, there's no need to talk about the Redskins. <laughs> They're not doing anything. <laughs> I don't know about that. So we'll see. I have to ask some questions. Help me out, Ira. <laughs> I am also confident, y'all. For oh. those who know me on the line, yes, always have been, always will be. It is what I do. It it is who I am and it is how I am going to be. Yes. I know what I can do. I know what I'm capable of and I will do those things well. I am also a forgiver. I forgive. Yes. May not fool with you after I forgive you, <laughs> but I forgive because I don't want to keep having to forgive you. If you're doing something to me that I need to forgive you for and I have to keep doing it, that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. I'm also a giver to self. I yes. give to myself without guilt, y'all. I love me more than I love anybody else. That is right. And that's so important. And you have to be able to love and give to yourself so that you can love and give to others. Yes. I am also a diva. <laughs> yes, I am. I am doing it virtuously and amazingly. Yes. Diva. But she that's gets it from her oldest for. sister, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she gets it from her oldest sister. And, and as Many of you know I have a lot of favorite sayings, and yes. I use those sayings to help me uh, define parts of my life. So, trust me when I tell you, you will learn uh, many of my favorite sayings. But let me just give you a little flavor about what some of them are. You don't have to, uh, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Exactly. You see, I'm always ready, no matter what. Whatever you want me to do, however you want me to do it, and if I if it's something I want to do, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. um, how about I will not let you judge me when you cannot accurately judge yourself? Go ahead now. You about to preach up in here? I didn't yes, know my I sister am. was a preacher, uh, y'all. What? <laughs> She oh, I got many go talents. In. Do you remember in the intro it said twists and talents? That is now, right. I have many talents, that is but right. I will not let others judge me because those things and labels that other people try to put on oh me, gosh. they will not put those labels on themselves. Right. And so most times those labels are more accurately described are more accurately describing them as it is me. Those who know <laughs> me love me. <laughs> <laughs> Something I picked up last year, y'all, at the women's conference that we're going to be telling y'all about and promoting this on March 24th is let the main thing be, be the main thing. thing. Yes. Don't get sidetracked. Don't let the people sidetrack you. That's Just right. stay focused on what you need to do and how you need to do it and trust and believe that it'll all work out. And as you can tell, when I use the word company, you know, it's going to have an old school flair to it. But back in the day when we had company, the adults had to be in a room by themselves and the children had to go do children like things. So some of the topics that we're going to discuss will be of a mature nature that children should not be engaged in. So you make the decision, but we're going to let you know when those children need to go into the room and not be in the same room with company that's talking about things that children don't don't need to hear about. Let the main thing yes. be the main yes. thing. Yes, yes, yes. And you all know my favorite. You can all say it in your heads right now or say it out loud with me. Party, Party over, over here, here 
ain't, ain't nothing, nothing over there. there. <laughs> I don't know where she got that from, you all. She didn't get that from me. Because I would sleep by 9 o'clock yeah, she every was. night. <laughs> was. And, and last but not least about me, let me tell you, this is the most important part, y'all. I am your new favorite talk show host. Oh, wow. co <laughs> Sisters and Company, talking about it. Yes. <laughs> so she could be the calm, cool, collective one, but I'm going to be your favorite one. <laughs> So now that you have some flavor about who we are and what we intend to do, we're going to share with you. We're going to introduce some of our segments that you can look forward to hearing week after week. And I will let Sharon tell you about the first one. Now, the first one is going to be um, Let's Talk About It. And we, along with our company, of course, will discuss topics such as faith, family, education, entrepreneurship, finances, relationships, parenting, and so many more. Yes, we're going to talk about football, of course. We're going to talk about these politics, y'all, but we're going to bring it to you differently. We get enough of the, the uh, people complaining on Facebook, but we're going to talk about how we make this work for us because you know there's some stuff in here that can work for us. Uh, we're going to talk about how we do our household finances. We're going to talk about retirement. Are you saving for your retirement? Do you ever intend to retire? Yes. I do. I have four years, 50 days, and 12 <laughs> hours. Um, yes. We, so we're going to talk about a whole lot of things, and we want to make sure that when we're talking about those things that you all have an opportunity to call in and have some great conversations with us at 1-833-202-TALK. Yes, and for today, we don't want you to call in right now because this is our debut show, and so we're just trying to get a handle on all of this, and so we're going to prompt you later on in the show to call in if you choose to do so, and we are so, so very excited. So, and also, when we invite you to be our company, you will be able to participate either physically here in the studios right across the street from the historic Howard University yes. campus. And so if you can't be here physically, we will Zoom you in, Skype you in, or do a telephone conference. But we have so much to talk about, and we feel so absolutely blessed to know so many people in this world who are so encouraging and supporting, supportive of us, as well as we are to them that they can come in and really share their God-given talents and their experiences. So when we call you, when we text you, when we email you, <laughs> Please respond back because we would love for you to come and share with the world your gifts and talents. Yes, because we all have them. As a matter of fact, I was saying to my husband this morning, he was wishing for a talent that he doesn't have. And I told him <laughs> to use the ones he have, y'all. <laughs> that is right. And that is, that's why you, we're going to have that authentic, real talk about um, you know just who we are, the skill sets we have. And we're going to learn to focus on ourselves and not be in competition with anybody because God made each and every last one of us for a purpose and you just have to identify what yours is and as I've always said it's all related to service to one another so That's whatever right. your service is just do you and people will support you just like you all are supporting us and like we support so many other people yes so our first segment is we just talked about it. Let's talk about it. So that's exactly um, what we are talking about. And I guess at this particular time, um, we're going to take a short break. And during the break, what we want you to do is take a look at the slideshow presentation to learn a little bit more about who we are in some of our upcoming events. See you in about a minute. DC's number one recording studio. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
Listen vision. Listen vision. Listen vision. Listen vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. We hope you are enjoying the show. For more information about any of our upcoming events, please feel free to reach out to us on any of our social media sites or yes. email. Um, and so you know how to get in contact with us. Um, Sisters and Company talk about it live on Facebook and our email address and everything was within the promo. So we'll bring that back to you later on. And so, Sherelle? Yes. So before the break, we were talking about our segment, Let's Talk About It. And interestingly enough, I was riding with a girlfriend of mine yesterday, and she said to me, um, I hope that you all are going to do real talk. And one thing I could promise you is that we're going to do real talk. We're going to talk about those relationships, y'all, that we have with people that are not necessarily the best of relationships and how we can either continue on with that relationship in a way that's beneficial to everybody involved in the relationship or if you know when it's time for you to just cut ties with that relationship because remember all relationships are not meant to be with you for your entire life right and um, during the break um, the broadcast engineer who um, we actually just met he said, I cannot tell that you all are just doing this for the first time. He said, what our opening was absolutely amazing. So that's an indication about, you know, what's going to happen on this show. And God's hand is all over this. You know, I'm, I'm outside of myself with this particular role. But, but we're about to um, get started. And we promise to bring it to you just like this each and every week. Sundays at 3 o'clock Sundays at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is exactly right. So our next segment that we are going to um, bring to you, maybe not weekly, but it will be one of the segments, is hashtag think about it. Mm -hmm. The hashtag think about it comes directly from the title of my newly released book, Mind Your Mind, hashtag think about it, mastering your state of mind. Mm -hmm. In this segment... We will address topics about what makes us as people tick, what makes people behave the way that they do, and we're going to share some mindset principles that heavily influences our lives and the cycle of life. And we, you know, hashtag think about it. I'm going to share with you some things that made me stop and think about it. Um, you know, being married 26 years, there has been at least one occasion where I had to stop and think about it. Um, that yes. is for sure. Yes. Um, I have children, so I am constantly stopping to think about yes. it. I will, uh, you know, we're going to just things that we encounter in life every day that, you know, makes us stop and just think about it. And we have to, you know, really think about how we're going to go forward with that information that we have. Yes, and that is the important part. You know, when we're younger, sometimes we just don't have the skills 
um, or the, the emotional intelligence to really just kind of look at ourselves and stop and just ask ourselves some questions before we move in a certain direction. And so as you get older, that becomes more and more important to you or to me. And so that's why we want to really talk about that. Mm -hmm. And of course, well, I'll use some of the information from the book to help guide that conversation. Yes, absolutely. Now, the other segment that we are going to discuss or bring to you is, wow, that's my story too. And I absolutely love the topic, the title of that particular segment. So often in life, we believe that we're the only ones who's going through something or we're the only ones who accomplished a major goal. This segment dis will discuss stories of triumph, beating the odds, and incredible stories of courage because I am of the mm. mindset that our stories are not for us. So why are we hoarding and holding on to our stories? Share yes. your story with someone else so that they can be blessed and they, are, they can have a different trajectory in life and they don't have to do some of the things that we've done. And as I stated at my book signing on yesterday, I do understand that everything is not for everybody, but some things are for some people so that you can help them along the way. And so that's what that says segment for me is going to mean. And, and for me, you know, it's important for people to understand, you know, people see you where you are right now in life yes. and they think you've always had it easy or always had just a, a, a path without a lot of challenges and obstacles. But once you start sharing your story with them, they realize that where they are in life, it gives them hope that they too can achieve whatever it is that they think that you have achieved. Cause you know, all of that is about perception. And so particularly when you're talking about in the workplace. We gonna get into some real topics about what happens in the workplace. And I know that it'll be your story too. I know you're gonna know what I'm talking about when I tell you about this story <laughs> about somebody emailed me something crazy yes. and I had to call them on it. So I'm gonna tell you about what, what that story was and how I had to call them on it and you're gonna say, oh man, that happened to me too, that's my story too. Right, and um, I didn't even think about this when Sherelle and I were planning for this show. Wow, that's my story too, is that she, both of us are in the HR field. Can you imagine, you know, and there, how that happened? I was there first. And she was there first. <laughs> um, so she, if she wants to say I followed her, I'll yeah, let her she have did. that. You know, she said I followed her to Virginia State, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> well, that is the truth. <laughs> and so is the HR thing. And that so, is the truth. <laughs> and so we're both, um, you know, have a human resource. Um, management background um, and so we're going to bring you that information based on the experiences that we've had yes. and of course bring in some other experts in the field to kind of help us manage our work life our professional lives and to be very aware of what you need to know as an employee around HR and so we're, we're going to definitely talk about that. And I'm just going to tell you, my fa I told you about those sayings I have at work. My saying is I require two things of everybody who work for me. Come to work and do the work. Yes. It sounds real simple when you say it out loud, but that those are the two hardest things for people to do, but they still want that check on time. <laughs> so we are going to also have a segment, which is going to be one of my favorite segments. If not now, when? If you are still living on your mama's sofa and <laughs> yes. you over 25 and you're not planning to move right now, when are you going to plan to move? Yes. If you're not saving any money for retirement, when are you going to start? If you are in an unhealthy relationship, yes. when are you going to leave? We can come up with a whole lot of excuses as to why we don't do a whole lot of things, but we're going to knock down those excuses. We're going to leave them at the door, and we're going to ask ourselves constantly, if not now, when? And as Sherelle's um, business is titled Ouch Baby, this is going to be one of those moments where it's probably going to be some ouch babies going on, particularly around parents and parenting. And so we're just in a different world. And so um, not here to tell you what to do, but being an educator for over 28 years, 
I'm just very clear about the human growth and development cycle and how some of us just need to fly on our own because that's the yes. only way that we learn some things. We can, you know, parents can talk to you. You can talk to your children until you are blue in the face. It's just some things they're going to have to touch and feel on their own. Hopefully, it's not going to do any harm to them, but just make them stronger and grow and help them to develop a plan to be independent. Because as you can tell, Sherelle says she's retiring in four years. I don't know what God has in, plan, in store for me. But guess what? You don't want your children to still be in your household and you taking care of them when you're retired. That won't be my children's yeah, fate. That just, you know, and so that's um, that particular segment. And also in that segment, I would like to talk about breaking the habit of procrastination mm, and yes. the mindset of fear yes. to move forward to accomplish goals and live out our dreams. Yes. You have no idea how many people I talk to that talk to me about fear. And mm. you know, we opened up, I believe, in the Bible, what the word says about he did not give us the spirit of fear. And I don't believe in failure. What I believe is that you either win or you learn. It's really just that simple. Mm. And so in that particular topic um, segment, we're really going to hit home on, if not now, when? And that conversation is going to be so very critical and hopefully get some of us or some of you that are watching who have these goals that you set for yourself 40 years ago, those books that are on your shelf that you just never finish, mm -hmm. you know, that movie script, whatever it is, if not now, when? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, sometimes you have to stop and, and address things right in the moment. And so... That's kind of how I came up with, if not now, when. So let me give you an example. I was riding in the car with my daughter, um, and she was driving. And it was a car, of course, that my husband and I purchased for her because she's <laughs> a college student, and she broke. So we were riding, and we were talking about um, her plans for when she after she graduated. And she was saying that she wanted to uh, – she was thinking about moving back home. And so that was a, if not now – when moment, if I didn't tell her then that that was not an option, when was I going to tell her? I didn't want to wait till after she graduated, y'all, because then it had been too late. She would have said, well, I said that three years ago, and you should have said something back then. So I took the opportunity to tell her right then. That doesn't seem like a good idea because me and your father moving in two years, and y'all can't come. And you all know Sherelle has a hard exterior, but she has the biggest heart of anybody I, I know. And I can tell you right now, if her baby girl came and knocked on that door, that door would be open. I'm going to send her to her Auntie Kiki because <laughs> she liked them like that. Because <laughs> me and Jim, we moving and they can't come, y'all, in two they years. They will find you. We moving in the studio apartment. <laughs> so no, we won't even have no space on the you. couch for them. Yes, yes. Because we kicking the 15-year-old out in two years. He got to go somewhere and he can't come with us. You know, I'm not going to let you do my niece and nephew. They like can that. live with you in that the basement right. <laughs> with the other people. She, she and my brother-in-law, y'all always got people living in the basement. Yes, yes. So if not now, when you blessed, when, you're supposed to help somebody else. I'm so. willing to help you, but not at the house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, another favorite uh, segment of mine is going to be. Are you tired of being sick and yes, tired? Yes. Are you tired of being sick and tired? Are you sick and tired of your job, but for some reason you just won't find another one? Are you sick and tired of people using you and not using you to your advantage? Are you tired yet? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you tired of doing the same old thing day in and day out, and your life is just not what you thought it was going to be yes. or what you hoped for it to be? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you? Ask yourself that question. What is really going on in your life that you're sick and tired of? And we're going to talk about those things because I got some things in my life that I am sick and tired of. And I'm going to be doing some things about it because I didn't told y'all now, so you know I have to do it. 
Right. And so, of course, what we're talking about here is a choice. Mm. It's a choice about how we approach things, you know, the things that we let yes. go, those those yes. generational thinking challenges that we have that I just absolutely love to talk about. Mm -hmm. And we just have these perpetual relationships with things that are not benefiting us or benefiting anybody else. But we get sick and tired of being sick and tired, but that becomes our norm sometimes. And so we say to ourselves, well, that's just, just how it is. And I just say that that is not the truth. You have control. Mm -hmm. There are some things that you can do. You have people in your circle. There, there are resources out here. And so that's what we really want to hone in on as well in that particular segment. Yes, and we want to make sure, too, that we are, again, let me emphasize this, we really want to give our audience um, real-life, tangible things that they can do that's practical, doesn't have to cost a lot of money, that you can do to move your life to a different phase. That's what I call it with my kids. It's time for them to move into a different phase. So that next phase for the 20 year old is to get off my bankroll. <laughs> the phase for the 15 year old is to get out the house. So, you know, everybody has to move to the next phase in life. And as we, if we're lucky enough to still be alive, cause I don't know about y'all, but it's people dropping dead all around me here lately, y'all. So you never know when it's your turn. So if you're not going to move on to the next phase in your life now when are you going to do it are you sick and tired of being stuck where you are just ask yourself and if you are then it's time for you to move on to something else right and we would hope that you would not get into a situation where you have to become sick and tired of being sick and tired so you need to take some control of you take some control of your environment and your situation and as my book again says mind your mind that's yes. really it mastering your mindset and so so that you don't have to be in a state of you know, that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And as I sh opened up with about who I am, you know, I typically am the cool, calm, and collected one because I mind my mind and I think about some things. So I rarely get sick and tired of being sick and tired of anything because I deal with it up front. And that is a, my reality. That's how I approach the world. And so those are some of the things that we really want to address within this particular segment. Yes, and I'm usually cool, calm, and collected until Norman Vincent or Cheryl Vincent or butter. show up, uh, or butter. Triple S. Um, yeah, I'm usually like that too. <laughs> yes, and, to, and so that's what we hope you will um, get from us out of this show, yes. um, you know, who are we as we talk about these topics? Mm -mm. Because everybody is not the same, and you don't have to be the same, and I don't want to be like anyone mm. else. And so my perspective on things will be different from some. It will be the same as some. And how I approach the world is going to look different than some, and it's going to look the same as some. I am uniquely made. That is absolutely right. And I like us. it like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> So at this particular time, we're going to take another break. And after we come back from the break, we will take callers. Um, and you can call us at 833-202-TALK, which is 8255. Now, let me just prep you. This is new. <laughs> so <laughs> please be patient with us as we... Um, engage you and take your calls. So um, we'll see you in about a minute.
Okay, we are back for those that are on listen, listenvisionlive.com. Yes. We are back from our break, and we like to open up the phone lines at this point and take some callers. And as you are calling in, what we're going to do, um, some of you have heard me speak about my book, and let me just show you so that you'll know what I'm talking about. Mind Your Mind, hashtag think about it, mastering your state of mind can be found on Amazon.com, and that's my newly released book. The number to call in is 833-202-TALK, 833-202-8255, in case you don't have one of those phones that got the letters with the numbers. And actually, we've had um, quite a few people trying to call in <laughs> during the show, and we weren't able to take their calls. So while we're waiting for some calls to come in, we hope that you're enjoying the show. Um, you know, just like with anything that's new, it's going to require for us to get into a rhythm. And I feel like I'm in a rhythm. And I, If you stay yeah. ready, you yes, don't have to get yes. ready. But I believe in planning and preparation. Yes, she does. And I have does. to tell this story when Sherelle and I <laughs> <laughs> were yes, planning she does. these shows. I told her, I said, well, you know, I have to write everything down. I have yes, to write does. it out. And she told me, she said, I don't have to do that because I'm genius like that. I was like, well, okay. <laughs> when you're over 50, you know, you can be all the genius you want, but some things you have to write down. <laughs> so that, that, that that's that confidence I was telling y'all about. <laughs> yes, yes. And I am I am confident, but I have to write it out first so that I can go back to it. That's just my learning style, and that's the educator in me. And so a lot of things that we're going to talk about is going to be rooted in education and edu edu educational strategies because anytime you have taught a child, children, you understand. So here's our first call. Let's see who this is. Hello, welcome. Thank you for calling. Hold on. Oh, this is Nancy. Yes, hold on. Well, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got to get it on the on the loudspeaker. He's trying to put it on the loudspeaker. Oh, do I have it all the way in? I have it on speaker. Take it off speaker. Yeah, take it off speaker. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you hear us? Hello. Yes, I can. Okay, okay wonderful. Perfect. Can you speak up? Hello. This Hi. is our first call. Yes. yes. Got this our is, first call. Yay. Yes. <laughs> who who are we speaking with? Who's this on the line? Kate. Oh, I am Angie. Kate. Hey, hey sister-in-law. Hi, Hi sister-in-law. How are hello, you? Hello, Thank you for calling. I'm doing You're welcome. What? Let me tell you, I am pumped up. I am so excited to see y'all on the internet. Um, I'm looking at your faces. I can't hear what you're saying, but oh. you inspire me. You inspiring me to get pumped up. I am on a journey to get a master's degree. Yes, yes. Um, starting a starting a new phase in my life, and and I'm an educator, and I always tell my students we are always transforming ourselves to yes. go to the next level. Right. And y'all are doing a remarkable thing for women in general. So thank you very much. I'll be, I'm really encouraged and I'm happy to just come in and share this hour with you every Sunday. Oh, so right. Thank Great. You so thank much. you so much. That was so awesome. And I'm so proud of you because, you know, having a doctoral degree, I've been in school for a very long time, most of my life. And for many of us, most of us in this country, Education is the key to your success because what, what can happen is people can use it as a discriminator when you don't have it. So we're going to talk a lot about it, you know, being motivated yes. to finish school. So thank you so much, Angie. We look forward to you joining us every Sunday. So we're going to take another call. All thank, right, you. thank you, Angie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Okay, so we had a, a slight technical difficulty. So I believe that was um, our sister from Chicago, Jackie, trying to call. So Jackie, call us back. Okay, here she is now. Hello? You have a call from your Freedom Voice system. Okay, we have to from figure that out. Seven. Yeah. Jackie. 
Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Can you speak up so we can hear you? This is Jackie from Chicago. Oh, that's our that's sister who? Jackie. Hey, hey Jack. Jackie. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Hello, How hello, are hello. you? I was calling to say I love the show. I can't wait for the continuous success that both of you are doing. I love it. I feel like we're at home in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's old school, the living room. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the one we yes, can only go when yes. we're cleaning it up. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Well, we love you, Jackie. So I and can't wait. Yes, and for most of you all that um, know us, our sister Jackie lost her husband, our brother-in-law, I, I guess it was September. about in September. So we're still praying for you and the children, Jackie. We love you all, and God got you. And so um, hope that all is going well. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And yes, he does along with all my family, so that's really helping me. Okay, yes. good, so, good. Thank you, Jackie. We're going to try to take another call, and we're going to get this down packed. All right. Keep doing what you're doing. Love you. Love All you, right, too. Love you Thank too. you. Hello? You have a call from your Freedom Voice system. We got to get from rid of that. Five. Hello. Thank you for calling Listen Vision Live. Can I help you? Hi, this is Aisha. How are you? Hi, Hi. Aisha. How are you? Good. I'm good. I'm just sitting here watching the show. Oh, good. Any comments? Um, I, I there was one thing I just wanted to say. Um, because you guys had mentioned when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, <laughs> and the one thing that helped me was because I I went through that, and the one thing that um helped me was, for example, there was something that I wanted to do, and I always felt like. If I didn't do it, someone else would do it. Oh, yeah, right. that that's exactly right. To my situation. Mm. So <clears throat> every time I think about that, I always say, like, if I don't do it, somebody else will. That's exactly and right. So really bad. So that actually helped me out a lot. Yeah, so so. If you don't do it, somebody else will. That's right. That's exactly and, right. And why not you? And why so not you? Absolutely. So bless you for that. Thank you for calling. Hopefully you'll be able to call back. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So we have some more calls coming in, and we'll take a few more. I see my stepdaughter, Alyssa, is trying to call in. So, Alyssa, call back, and I promise I'll take your call. Um, And while she's um, calling in, what what the young lady said is so true. Here's Alyssa, so let's let's take it. Hello? 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 You have a call from your Freedom Voice system. From we got a... Hello, this is Listen Vision Live. Can I help you? Hello, sisters and company talking about Hello. it. More I see myself. Hello? Hi, welcome to Listen Vision Live, sisters and company talking about it. Can we help you? I'm trying to get on live talk. Yes, we are here. We can hear you. What can we do for you? Thank you for calling. I'm just calling to congratulate them. I'm calling Hello. from Las Vegas. My name is Irvine. Uh, oh, Irvine. Hey, Irvine. Hey, Irvine. How are you? Hey. That's a call from Las Vegas, I'm y'all. Thank you. How are you? Thank and you for I'm calling. I'm praying yes. that God will bless you, and I wish you much, much Success. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm ordering the book today. Yes. All right. yes. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Yes. Bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, we're going to take the next caller. We are here. We can hear you. What can we do for you? Thank you for calling. Oh, there's some feedback. Some feedback in the b- background. Yes, so as you feedback. see, we're we're <laughs> working out the, the telephone situation. So, but this is our first day, and it's all good. It's all good. Um, you know, I don't panic over situations. It is no. what it is. We're gonna, you know, figure it out, and we are going to regroup. Yes, um, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And so here's another call. Welcome to Sisters and Company talking about it live. May I help you? 
Hello? Hello. What's your name? This is Janie Mac Janie. Oh my goodness, my sorrow. Hi, Janie. Oh my 